What's going on guys, it's your boy Avionics back with another video. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that red button down below. Now in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Donatello as the Invisible Man. This is one of the Ninja Turtles and Universal Monster Mashup action figures. So here is the front of the box. Typical size of any NECA action figure box. Donatello as the Invisible Man ultimate action figure. And then if you open it up, this is how the, um, the figure looks in its clamshell in the window. Showing off the accessories. Here we've got a uh, photo of NECA posing the Invisible Man Donatello. And then here is what the top of the box looks like. Here's the left side. Here's the right side showing off Michelangelo Mummy. Leonardo as the Hunchback, and then Raf Raphael as Frankenstein, and then April O'Neil as the Bride. Here at the bottom, barcode and um, the cast of the NECA people who um, created this action figure. And then on the back, here we've got some promo images of Donatello as the Invisible Man. You'll never see him coming. Donatello as the Invisible Man. Watch behind you. Madman or genius? You decide. Catch him if you can. Look out, his secret's under wraps. Once the bandages are peeled, the mystery will be revealed. All right, let's go ahead and take him out of the box now. Also inside the box is this cardboard insert. It looks like a science lab, perfect for Donatello as he is the brains of the group. All right, so there's the Invisible Man Donatello action figure and all of the accessories. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Here we go, there he really is. All right, so let's take a look at all the accessories first. We're going to start off with the heads. So let's take a look at the first head, or which is the alternate head inside the packaging. All bandaged up, eye holes cut out, and a mouth hole cut out. So you, there's actually hollow. So yeah, and then wrapped all the way around in bandages. There's where you would pop it on the, the neck joint. And then we have hair coming out of the tops of the bandages. And then the head on the figure itself, right here. Fully wrapped, no hair peeking out of the bandages on top. And then we do have goggles that are removable, like that. And then you can see his eyes. Those are some very dilated eyes right there. Oh, we have some little paint from the goggles got on the bandage right there. But yeah, these goggles are removable. So let's take a look, take a closer look at the goggles now, now that we have them removed. So we do have a light brown paint and along the rim of the, the goggles is metal, black lenses, and then a very deep dark purple band of the goggles with silver accents, pieces of metal along the, the strap. So that's cool how it's removable right there. And then we have a TGRI journal painted in like a maroon brown with gold accents on the buckle, the corners, the binding of the book, it does not open. And then they made it appear as if there's pages here. So this is a TGRI journal. And then we do have a hat that we can put on the head of this head. It's not gonna be able to fit on top of the, the head with the hair coming out of the top of the bandages. And then we have this beaker and stirring rod, so if I can, right there, it's very transparent and just clear. And the stirring rod does not, it's like attached to the beaker. So don't worry about losing that. So he can have that holding in his hand. And then do you want to give warning about trying to remove the microscope from the box or from the plastic clamshell? As this is made of, you know, if you're familiar with neck accessories, especially something this small and not a lot of, you know, areas, it's, I was worried I might break it removing it, but just be careful taking it out of the plastic clamshell. But it does look like a great looking microscope. Black with silver paint all around. Does not articulate. And then of course, Donatello's bow staff, but not like any other bow staff we've seen in any of the NECA Donatello action figures. It is, um, they made a new design, a new molding for this. But it is a typical brown, a little bit flexible. Just be careful, don't snap it in half. And the bandages are wrapped in a different manner than um, what we're used to, which is good. We want we want some you know differences in what we're buying out of these neck action figures. 
And then he does come with a total of eight hands. One, two, three, four, actually what, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the hands on the figure itself, we have closed fists, closed fists wearing gloves, and it looks like it does articulate side to side on that joint. On the back side of those gloves, it's gray with these three lines. Left hand is also a closed fist. And it does articulate side to side as well. And then we have three other pairs of gloved hands. So we have this set right here in this pose. So it's a gripping hand. Put his bow staff in there. And then it does articulate side to side. And then we have a left version of that one. Same thing, gloved hand articulating side to side. And then taking a look at this right hand, it uh, articulates side to side. And then it's a, it's a pointing finger, still wearing the glove, pointed index finger. And then this left hand, it looks like the other left hand that we just saw. It's the same exact thing it looks like. I don't see much of a diff. Oh, okay, I do see a little bit of difference. The grip in the first left hand I showed you is a little bit wider so he can grip something probably like the beaker. Okay, so then this one is more for his like bow staff. All right, it's good to know. And then the last pair of gloved hands in this pose. So yeah, a wider grip of a pose for the right hand and articulating side to side as well. And then the last gloved left hand is a sprawled finger sprawled out articulating side to side. And then taking a look at the transparent or invisible type hands. That's how NECA went with how to uh, how to make it look like it's invisible. It's just a, a transparent hand mold. So this one looks like it's going to grip like his bow staff, articulating side to side. And then the left hand is the same exact thing, being to be able to hold his bow staff articulating side to side and then he does come with invisible effects feet as well so these are just gonna his feet his non-invisible feet they just peg they're all pegged so you can just pull them out we're gonna pull we're gonna try and all these parts here in a little bit there you go a little bit focused there and then taking a look at the articulation of this one we do have Hinging back all the way, hinging all the way up, and then a rocker swivel right there. And then the other le the, uh, the other invisible foot, which is the left one. It's going to do the, all the exact same kind of articulation. And there are peg holes for peg stand for those uh, NECA stands right there. All right, now let's take a look at the action figure himself. Those dilated eyes. Yeah, but a great looking jacket and everything. Now, I did not notice this and I didn't know if I can, I don't remember seeing this in any of the photos, but his his shell is actually made of transparent plastic to give that invisible effect. And he does have slices of pizza in there with pepperoni. So I did not know that. From all the pictures that NECA provided, none of, I don't remember any of them showing off his shell. So that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna be able to put his bow staff and there, I I hate these things because it doesn't really hold tight onto their bow staffs. It just wants to unravel and just the bow staff will fall out. But it is what it is. But great looking, uh, like old looking leather strap and shoulder uh, shoulder strap and belt. And then we have the typical elbow pads and knee pads that we have on NECA Movie Ninja Turtles. Great looking jacket. So it's it's not removable. It is flexible here towards the towards the bottom, and he is wearing like a, a typical dark um, purple shirt underneath the jacket. Great looking collar all the way around, and the texture and just the uh, the paint of the jacket looks great. And then he's got just like dirty blue pants underneath, and then um, the bottoms of the pants. It's got like cuffs, black grayed out uh, cuffs so let's see here we should just be able to remove pull out okay so they easily come off 
So if we want to swap in the uh, invisible body parts, we can just like just like that. So let's go ahead and put on put on the other invisible foot. All right, there we go. Nice and snug. You can hear it creaking in there. All right, let's take a look at articulation now. So, well, actually, before we do, let's pop off the head and the neck. So it looks like the neck comes off too. So we can put on the other head. All right, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and pop in this one. All right, there you go. So yeah, so taking a look here. So it, it, it does have articulation. It's a double double joint. We have the head on the neck and then the neck to the body. So he's gonna be able to look down all the way like so. Look all the way up like that before it hits the collar, the jacket, and it's gonna be able to rotate. And like I said, the neck is gonna be articulating at the base. So you could also turn it there too. So like turning to the side, uh, not so much tilt going on, but oh, there we go. Oh, nope, that's just the joint popping off. Okay, there we go. Oh, nope. Let's put uh, let's put this one back on. You gotta make sure you pop it on. All right, there you go. All right, so not a little, not just a little bit of tilt, but yeah, down, up, all the way around. We're gonna let's see him with his hat on real quick. All right, there we go. Let's try that again. I wonder if this is the same hat that they used for Raphael in disguise, just without the the hole in the bag. It looks kind of like it. All right, so there is Donatello with the the hat. All right, moving down with articulation. Shoulders can go up all the way like that, all the way around. And then we do have a double jointed elbow, but of course these elbow pads always kind of conflict with articulation, but that's okay. And then we, it does swivel at the elbow like that. And then these hands all the way around and articulate side to side. It's gonna do the same thing all the way over here on the right, swiveling double jointed and then we're not going to have a lot of ab crunches going on with this jacket and everything but he does the legs do go up like that it's not going to go very far back because of the jacket splits of course the same thing because of the jacket but you can get him some pretty cool poses and then double jointed at the knee I want to say oh no single joint and also swiveling like that so single joint at the knee, but it, you know, you're not gonna be able to get much going because of the jacket. And then like I said, the same thing with the feet or is this the bandaged feet? All the way back, all the way forward. And then actually take a look. They made it so his toes are like invisible with that invisible effect. So that's pretty cool. And of course, peg holes on the bottom for putting them on a stand. And that's it for articulation. All right, now let's go ahead and size them up with other NECA Movie Ninja Turtle action figures. To uh, Donatello Invisible Man's right, we have Donatello from the first Ninja Turtles movie. And to his left, we have um, Donatello from the Secret of the Ooze movie. And then there he is with April as the Bride of Frankenstein and Mommy Angelo. And then here he is with Raffenstein and Leonardo as the Hunchback. And then here he is with Splinter as Van Helsing. Overall, I think NECA did a great job of making their own rendition of the Invisible Man using Donatello. They put enough accessories in his ultimate set to be able to distinguish some uh, invisible effects body parts and then non-invisible accessories including the TGRI journal and a removable hat and a, a nice looking bow staff different than what we're used to which is good because we don't want the same bow staff every single time and you know the bandages on his bow staff do remind me of the bandages on mummy angelo so if you are into collecting the universal monsters tmnt mashup action figures obviously donatello is a given you can find them um, on target and other retailers i found mine at target if you guys enjoyed watching this video i'd appreciate it if you hit that like button Leave all your comments and thoughts down below on what you think of Donatello as the Invisible Man. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of other videos like this. Thanks for watching guys.